Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for my dearest Taurus. Taurus, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. If this reading resonates with you, I'm just going to ask that you like, share, and subscribe. Also, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. And if you like the cards that I'm using, I have them listed and linked in order of appearance. Also, feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to ring that notification bell. Also, Taurus, you guys can now follow me on TikTok and Instagram for additional content, daily love messages. Um, so if you want to do so, I have those links down below as well. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's see what messages come through for my dearest Taurus regarding love and romance. Messages for Taurus, please, regarding love and romance. Overall energy, we've got the three of wands. Okay, so some of you guys, you could be in a long distance connection or you're manifesting this, um, or maybe your person is manifesting you. This is a beautiful energy, uh, Leo Airy Sag energy about, um, about growth and expansion, ready and ready to take things to the next level. So your person, you may be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're showing up as the princess of pentacles in reverse. So they're a little bit hesitant. For some of you, you're waiting for a message on them, or maybe they're waiting for a message uh, from you. Um, but it feels like some they've sort of pulled back their energy. I think they're not really sure what's going on or what to think or how they feel. They're viewing you, Taurus, as the high priestess. So some of you guys are readers, empaths, psychics. Um, but the high priestess in reverse is somebody who is quite transparent. Um, I don't know if some of my Taurus, if you guys called this person out on something or you found out a secret that they they were keeping or they just feel a little bit spooked because it's like they, you can read them so well. What you don't see coming, the magician in reverse. So some of you guys, you will be hearing from this person during Mercury retrograde. And for me, when I see the high priestess and the magician showing up in the same reading, this is about divine counterparts. This is a very special, very magical, very telepathic connection, maybe like a soulmate or twin flame journey even. So the magician in reverse is, you know, some of my Taurus, they might be a little bit worried because I do feel that they were keeping something from you or they didn't communicate clearly or there was a misunderstanding, maybe a little bit of trickery involved here. And we see the two of swords in reverse. So this is about communication, obstacles being removed. Um, you're going to be able to make a decision. Trust your intuition here, Taurus. Um, if something feels off, that's because it is. Um, but also make sure that, you know, if you're hearing gossip or, you know, something that's um, secondhand sort of news or something like that, um, just make sure that you, you know, you, you get the facts. The Two of Swords is telling me that you will be seeing things and this connection very clearly to see if you want to move forward or you want to move away from them. The overall energy is the Three of Pentacles. So I like this energy because that's teamwork, that's collaboration, that's being on the same page. If you guys have had a misunderstanding, you may be able to work it out. Um, this is about, you know, two people that really want to, you know, work through whatever difficulty this might be. And like I said, for some of you, Taurus, your person, they're just like a little bit shy. They're maybe a little taken aback because you have, you've got them figured out. Okay. And that can be a good thing. They just might, maybe you don't know each other very well, but you're intuitively just, you know, hitting the nail on the head here. Okay. So I love this energy because there's a lot of hope here with the three of pentacles. Spirit wants to remind you that. Everything happens the way it's supposed to. Um, I also feel some of you guys, you could know this person through work or maybe you worked with this person. So there's some sort of difficult cycle coming to an end. But what I love about this particular Ten of Wands is he's figured out how to carry his burdens. Whatever's been weighing him down, oof, and we get a little confirmation there. Whatever's been weighing him down, instead of trying to do it all on his own, he's figuring out like a creative solution to his problems. So I do feel that you've been through something difficult here, Taurus, but it's like you're learning how to balance your responsibilities, the weight that you're carrying around, you know, emotional weight, phys you know, um, not physical weight, but you know what I mean? It's like this energy of, okay, I've got a lot on my plate, but I know how I can move through this and you absolutely will push through this difficult period. Some of you guys, you're in separation or you've broken up with this person or you guys aren't really talking. Your person is definitely mum or, you know, pleading the fifth or gone quiet here. 
I do see that things are going to shift and change this person if they've ghosted you or they've they're not communicating I do see that that's going to change they're just kind of nervous here with this princess of pentacles yeah your person is releasing some sort of karma um, they might be changing some bad habits. They might have even gotten rid of some sort of third party energy. Um, they're really taking a look at they, this is I think that your person needed to pull back Taurus to see what they want to or need to change in order to work things out with you. I like that energy, Capricorn energy and the Hierophant in reverse. So a lot of you guys, you are in separation. For some of you guys, this person, if it was an argument, a pause or a separation, this is exactly what they needed to see things clearly. Um, I, I feel like your person might even be feeling a little bit guilty or, or ashamed of the way they acted or behaved or whatever it is that they did that led to this breakup or this separation. Um, the Hierophant in reverse can also be somebody who abuses their power. So I think they're really taking a look at what they stand to lose if things don't, you know, if, if you guys don't get back together or you don't work this out. Um, not, we see the Eight of Cups in reverse, so they definitely want you back, Taurus. They definitely want to rekindle things or they want to reach out. All right, and we get the Page of Wands in reverse, but they're a little bit worried because you're not taking action towards them. And maybe you were the one that was always taking action or you were the, always the one that was bridging the gap or messaging them or making plans. And yeah, you've definitely pulled back your energy, but they're hoping to hear from you. They're hoping, um, you know, they may be waiting on a message from you or for you to take the lead. I'm not so sure you're going to do that, but something is definitely going to unfold for you that's going to be kind of surprising during this Mercury retrograde. So we have the Six of Wands as so some sort of victory. Um, this could be, you know, you guys actually getting in touch and talking, going out on a date. This is something, something during Mercury retrograde is going to be a huge win for you. This person might be building up the courage as well to come in and apologize or just confront you or talk to you about, hey, I want to work things out because I get that energy off of this reading. But they're weighing up their options and this might be your energy. You might be of two minds about what to do here, Taurus. Um, but I do pick up on an energy of sincerity with this person. Um, I think they're really weighed down by either what they did or they said or they're just starting to look at their own accountability when it comes to this relationship. Um, and we see the Ten of Swords. Yeah, so some of you guys, um, you have released this person and you may be moving on to something new. But for a lot of you guys, this is going to be that healing conversation or getting back together that you really need, that you want, if this is the person that you want to be with. I feel like they want to heal things. Um, and we get the sun card. Something here is going to make you very happy. And for a lot of my Taurus, this is a reconciliation. This is healing this argument. Um, this is releasing karma between you guys. I love this three of swords. Yeah. Somebody has a lot of regret, sadness, sorrow. So if you guys are in separation, big time reconciliation energy coming through here. If you've had a fight or an argument or some differences, I see you guys absolutely getting on the same page. We have this reading is flanked by the number three. So a lot of you guys are going to be seeing three, three, three show up for you um, as a number sequence or a sign synchronicity from your angels and guides regarding this person in the next couple of weeks. We also have double twos coming out. So 22 might be something that you're seeing as well. Um, the signs that you may be dealing with or you have in your chart, Leo, um, Taurus, and Capricorn. Okay, so also Virgo and Gemini. But there's something definitely unfolding for you when it comes to this next upcoming Mercury retrograde at the end of September. All right, so we've got completion, beautiful. So the ending of a very difficult karmic cycle, just a repetition here. We have another number nine coming out, parenting. Some of you, you may share children with this with this person. For others of you, you know, there have been some inner child wounds that were triggered. This is a very important connection with the high priestess and the magician. Some of you, it may be a twin flame journey. So it may be bringing up either past life or inner child wounds to the surface for both of you that are meant to be healed and cleared in this lifetime so that you guys can come together. So self-discipline, I think it's been hard, Taurus, for you to hold back from this person. Um, but I really do feel that, you know, they are seeing things as a result of you pulling your energy back. You not, you know, being the one to, you know, take the high road and reach out and almost like, I'm, I don't feel that this is like a, a, a reading where you feel like you're parenting this person. You just might be a little bit more spiritually evolved or woke than this person. 
Okay, and so I see you really holding back so that they can sort of go through what they need to to see things clearly. And physical activity, a lot of you guys, you are really, you know, you're working out. You're focusing a lot on your health and your wellness um, during this period of pause. Um, or maybe you need to if you guys are starting to feel a little bit weighed down or heavy. Just make sure you get you get outside, you, you know, whether it's just taking a walk, whether it's doing yoga, whether it's, um, you know, whether it's running, whether it's going to the gym, just really that that's going to come through here as something that's really important, um, helping you guys during this difficult period. And with the devil card in reverse, I also feel like your person has be, has really focused their energy on like working out or being healthier, um, cutting out bad habits. All right. And we get spirituality 77. So my Taurus, you guys are definitely divinely guided and supported on this journey. All right, let's go ahead and see what the angels have for you guys. Messages from our angels, please, for my dear Taurus. So get more information and opportunity. Yeah, so I do feel that this period of pause or breakup or separation is somebody here is going through a bit of an awakening. And we see that there with the... Um, the Star of David, um, and also it's sort of also Metatron's cube is what I'm seeing, but more Star of David energy. Um, but get more information. Somebody's going through an awakening, all right? Um, and yeah, there's a this is a huge opportunity. You're not this is not going to pass you by. I feel like this is a connection that is faded. Yeah, there's a lot of romance here between you guys, and ask for help from others. So you could be asking your friends and your family. Um, you know, they could also be asking, you know, for advice on either how to win you back or exactly how to come towards you, but communicate clearly. Yeah, because there may have been a misinterpretation or miscommunication. That Mercury retrograde energy is interesting because it could be happening during Mercury retrograde. So make sure that you do communicate with intention, but it can also be that there was something that somebody did or said that the other person took in the wrong way and it never quite got resolved and it sort of, you know, it may have spiraled out of control or turned into something that, you know, that, that maybe it shouldn't have, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and see what the messages of love oracle have to say about this connection it's a beautiful healing connection here you guys marriage so for a lot of you guys yeah this is a sacred union this is a connection that's going to really go the distance twin flame i was picking up on it earlier a lot of my taurus you guys are on a twin flame journey high priestess and the magician to me it's so powerful like this is absolutely there's something here being mirrored back to you reflected back to you um and for a lot of you guys on both sides there were triggers that needed to come to the surface so that they could be purged and released so somebody here may be burying themselves in work or physical activity this is when they they think about you when they're working or when they're going for a run or vice versa and this person is unable to give you all you deserve yeah so i feel like this pause or this separation this person is really taking a look at what's holding you guys back i think they're looking at their accountability and they, they may not be able to give you everything you deserve right now, but I think they're in the process, okay? And I, I just get this positive energy with the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Swords in reverse that this can be healed. It may take some patience though, all right? So it may not happen overnight. So let's go ahead and see what else comes through. You inspire me to heal and grow. So again, twin flame, you know, energy here, especially Taurus, if you guys have cut this person out or you guys have pulled your energy back, um, you know, you're activating that cord between you, but the healing and the breakthroughs that you have are absolutely affecting them. And I'm lonely and I'm ready for love. So I do feel that this person um, is going to be reaching out. And I think, you know, Taurus, you guys are as well. You guys are, you guys, I feel like you really can get on the same page with this person if you communicate clearly. And for a lot of you, it may be unfolding during this next Mercury retrograde. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care.